you doing? My name is Anthony Nolan. I'm the state rep for New London, Connecticut. And I'm up here at the LOB in Hartford uh, with Mr. Luna um, is uh, supporting and fighting for Husky for Immigrants. And this is an important uh, priority uh, that we should have in Connecticut to make sure everybody's covered under Husky, um, that it's not limited to a certain age. Um, so Mr. Luna, please introduce yourself and tell the folk uh, a little bit about Husky for Immigrants. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, really happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me and I'm really excited to be here at, uh, at the LOB. So my name is Luis uh, Luna. I am the coalition manager for Husky uh, for Immigrants, uh, which is a uh, organization that is uh, fighting to extend Husky benefits to all undocumented folks, uh, regardless uh, of age and regardless of status. Um, we have been uh, working and advocating to make sure that we find a legislative solution. Uh, we have, uh, you know, along with our champions and, and legislators who have been supporting our work, uh, we have been able to uh, get to uh, age 15. Uh, we were also able to get uh, pregnant uh, folks uh, covered, um, also HIP and, and adding postpartum care up to one year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Now, what was the age prior to it going up to age 15? Because that just recently happened. Yeah, so like, so we went, so we went from uh, age 8 in 2021, uh, age 12 in 2022, mm -hmm. and age 15 in 2023. Okay. Um, and we have, uh, and uh, pregnant uh, women were able to get uh, coverage as of April of 2022. Okay. Now, it still leaves a challenge for us um, because it's only up to 15. So we have a lot of residents that live here um, that aren't covered um, after the age of 15. So sure. if uh, a parent has a 13 year old and a 17 year old, the 17 year old is not covered. Um, so share some concerns about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, that's correct. Uh, so there's about 113,000 undocumented folks uh, here in Connecticut, um, of which 58% uh, of them don't have access to healthcare, mm -hmm. and that is in, uh, in co uh, comparing to about 6% uh, of other folks who do qualify for uh, either private insurance or state insurance. Um, so you see the disparity. 58% of our population is not does not have coverage mm -hmm. versus about 6% of our population that, that, that does have coverage to yeah. to, uh, to to insurance. Now, uh, the question that you pose is it's a really interesting question because we have families who uh, of parents who have children who are younger children, with younger children uh, and with older children. Right. So then when you have uh, to choose between or when the legislator chooses between a 13 year old and a 16 year old you know, there's there's things that are like that that are that come uh, that yeah. are it's an issue here yeah. we understand that the the ro the, the road uh, to make sure that every undocumented person is covered under Medicaid is difficult we understand the budgetary constraints we understand that um, but we center our campaign in the fact that uh, healthcare is a human right and that, and that everyone should have access to healthcare. And that is the concern because healthcare should be a human right. Um, and by having that division, it just creates more of a hardship. Um, one of my biggest problems with not supporting, um, with people not supporting a Husky for Immigrants is that uh, a lot of our immigrants pay taxes. Um, and they pay an astronomical amount Correct. into um, the state of Connecticut. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's over $400 million. Yeah. Um, and that's documented data. Yeah. Um, but, you know, um, we still not have gotten over that cliff. Um, and there are some residents that uh, have to make drastic um decisions with their families in order to make sure that their kids get care. Um, it is a problem, I think, when you have to bring someone to the emergency room where you have to see them anyway um, because yeah. you have to provide the care. It seems like it would be more beneficial to just cover them under the Husky program, mm -hmm. um, you know, at a, you know, by increasing the age even more. So. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, undocumented uh, immigrants, uh, between local taxes, uh, state taxes, and federal taxes, we pay over $500 uh, million in, in state taxes, including property taxes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so my, my father, for instance, he owns a house in Manchester. He's undocumented. Uh, he pays his property taxes, has had the house since 2007. Um, about two years ago, he had a, he had a, heart, a heart attack, and he made it. Yeah. They, they put a stent uh, on one of his arteries. Good, good. Um, but when he went to when he went went back home, the bill came to his house, um, and the bill was uh, over fifteen thousand dollars. So, so then you see you see the dispar this disparity in 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 healthcare access, mm -hmm. where where um, folks are working, folks have families, but that door is closed uh, to healthcare. And by that door, I mean, too, is that uh, undocumented folks are barred from accessing healthcare through the exchange. Right. So if you don't have a uh, social security, you, you cannot go into the, uh, into the uh, healthcare exchange in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, so, so last year, um, legislation was passed um, to bring the age up. Um, and hopefully this year, or not too far from this year, um, we're looking to increase it um, gradually if need. I mean, we know we really want to make it available for all, um, but because of how some of the financial cliffs work, I guess you can say, mm -hmm. um, it might be a gradual process. Um, so we, we will be fighting um, and you will be pushing and you guys will be coming out um, to make sure that um, it's understood um, to legislators how important it is to cover everyone, not mm. just some. Um, so are there any um, uh, events that you're going to be doing soon? Yeah, so we have our campaign launch. Uh, we're very excited about our campaign launch. Uh, it's going to be on uh, Wednesday, February 14th at 10 a.m. here at the lobby, um, at the lobby. Um, and then we're going to be, you know, we're going to be, we have been always been very present in the, in the, ca in the, uh, here in the capital. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be doing some lobbying. We're going to be uh, doing some rallies. Uh, and we're gonna just continue to engage with uh, with with legislators. We're gonna be continuing uh, continuing to engage with other uh, stakeholders across the state. Um, I mean, we have been able to. I'm really excited about and really proud of the work that we have been able to do in the last four years. Yeah, uh, like you guys did a lot of work. You 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 got us up to where we are. Sure. I mean, yeah. You know, we can't say nothing has been done. Correct. Um, so there are there are there is action. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, um, you know, health care um, and, and making sure that people are covered under health care, you know, it's almost an, it's an emergency. Correct. You know, it's, Correct. it's no different than having to go to the emergency room. Correct. Um, you're coming here to the LOB because of the urgent need to make sure people yeah. are covered. Um, yeah. And this is really important. Um, we have a lot of, as was said earlier, um, a lot of immigrants pay their taxes. They pay their property share in, you're in the property taxes. They pay um, into uh, the Connecticut um, uh, financial, they help with the financial cliffs that we have. Sure. You know, so um, this is one of the biggest reasons why um, there should be um, some agreements and some things uh, mm -hmm. push forward to make sure it happens. Definitely, yeah. And I just wanted to, you know, just give a shout out to to all of the uh, all of the uh, legislators too who have been supporting us. Uh, uh, our bills have gone through the through the uh, Human Services Committee, where the, great committee, yeah, great chaired committee. by uh, Senator uh, Matt Lesser and mm -hmm. Representative. Uh, uh, Gina and Gilchrist, and they've been, our, you know, they've been pushing with us. And, yeah. and um, among them, there's also like an, another large group of legislators who have been uh, supporting this campaign. It hasn't gotten us to where we where we need to be. Yeah. But I think that we have been able to change the narrative of like from uh, who deserves healthcare to hey, I think <laughs> undocumented folks do deserve healthcare. Yeah. And that that has been like another like big win that we've had uh, to be able to you know tell our stories mm -hmm. to be able to uh, communicate that this really matters and that the state should really care yeah. because when we uh, provide healthcare to everyone, uh, we're able to provide preemptive uh, mm -hmm. measures. And it's sort of, you know, I always give the example of, uh, of you know, when, when you're driving and you hear a sound on your car and you don't take care of it, uh, yeah. later on, you know, later on, you might get 
more expensive and like yeah. uh, and so like that's how our health is we need to make sure that we we take care of ourselves so we can take care of, so we can take care of our, of our family and that we can take of our parents too um mm -hmm. so i appreciate uh, you know, you bringing me here and, and speaking about this. Well, as you said, health care should be a human right. Um, and that's why we're hoping that we can push it a little uh, up a little more in regards to age and try and make sure that um, for those who do invest in Connecticut, that Connecticut also invests back in them. Um, is there anything else you want to share before uh, we uh, move on to something different? <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I, you know, I, we, you know, we're looking forward to like working with uh, with uh, legislators. We're wor working forward to like to working with the uh, with the governor uh, to make sure that we get this done. Uh, you know, we're I'm very very confident that we can get this done, um, and I and I'm just uh, looking forward for uh, the hard fight ahead. Good. And as you heard, uh, it is a hard fight, um, but it's something that I think we are responsible to make sure that we push a little harder uh, when it comes to covering everybody. Uh, equally with health care. Um, there is an investment from a lot of our immigrants here in Connecticut, and it is worthwhile to make sure we invest back. Um, so you've heard it here on Rolling with Rep Nolan uh, with Mr. Luna, um, and we hope to make sure that we make a difference this year. Um, and we also want to thank everybody who has supported and continues to support making sure that health care is a human right. Rolling with Rep Nolan, have a nice day.